Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies, where we develop great art habits. Today's groupie that we're going to be working with is Stretch. Stretch helps us play and experiment and take risks with different techniques and art mediums that we might never have used before. The artist that we are going to experiment with is Claude Monet. Claude Monet is known for doing water lilies and painting in his Japanese garden. He also painted winter landscapes. Yeah, and he went out into the cold. It didn't stop him from going outside. This picture, Magpie, displays the abundant amount of cool colors in this gray winter scene. Yeah, winter, brr. And notice the trees. The trees are what we are going to focus on today and the shadowing to make our landscape have shadow. Not only did he paint the trees in winter, but he also painted them in spring and in fall. So like I said before, Claude Monet loved to paint with light. He not only used the same subject at different times of the day, but he also did the same subject at different times of the year. So Claude Monet, and we're going to be creating a landscape, and we're going to be making our landscape with birch trees. Birch trees are those beautiful white trees that you see out in nature. We're going to be creating the form or the shape of our birch tree using masking tape. This is going to keep our tree nice and white. So all we're going to do here is we're going to take the masking tape and we are going to rip it in half. The edge that is ripped is going to be the outside of our tree and we're going to make it look and appear to be natural and we're going to take it all the way to the top of the paper. So that's one side of our tree. We're going to take that piece of tape and the rough edge is going to be the other side of the tree. And you need to take your finger and fingernail and really rub that down so no paint can get underneath it. I'm going to take some more tape and you can create branches with smaller, thinner pieces of tape. And again, they can come up off the edge of the paper. If your piece isn't long enough, no worries. Just rip off another piece and attach it. Don't worry if the edges don't line up. It's okay because the birch tree has very rough edges. So um, having these edges that don't seem to look right actually works for the birch tree. You want to maybe have two or three trees in your picture. So masking tape is what's going to help us create the natural form of our trees. So I went ahead and made some extras. Um, I have two together and one spaced out a little bit, makes a little bit more of a contrast. We're going to be using watercolor paints for this project. We're going to first paint, and now you can go right over top of this tape. Because you remember, you pressed hard with your finger and your fingernail to make sure the paint isn't going to get underneath those edges. You want to start your painting and think that this is winter, so we're going to be using cool colors. You want to make a horizon line where we're going to separate our sky from the winter snow. We're going to also be using a technique that you are all familiar with. We're going to use that salt technique to make it a feel and have that texture of perhaps maybe some snow coming down in your landscape. So we're going to use those short little brush strokes again that Claude Monet is known for and you want to use a variety of colors. And what's nice is that you can blend those colors with the water. 
Use some purples and some blues. Use those short little brush strokes to create your background, your sky. Now remember, with the technique of table saw, you have to make sure that your paper and the paint is wet. So you kind of have to act a little quick with this project for the top part. So there we have it. It's nice and wet, so I'm going to take my salt and sprinkle that on and let it work its magic. So the magic happens as it dries. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on my bottom part where the snow is. I'm not going to make it as dark as my sky, like filling in the whole thing. I want to leave some of that white, but I want to make it appear that there are, you know, ripples in the snow, giving some texture to the snow, using some different purples and some blues. I could fill in maybe a little bit more up here in the background where the ground is meeting the sky. Could use some colors down here at the bottom of the base of the trees to give that texture in the snow of it falling down. And again, you don't have to fill in all of that white. You want to leave some of it so it appears to be the snow. Just like so. So as that dries, and while you're waiting for it to dry, I want you to think about, because um, we're going to add a little bit more detail to the background and detail to the tree, give it the texture of what a birch tree bark looks like. But while we're waiting, I want you to think about um, a shadow falling on the trees. So let's say this is my son. My son is going to be over here in the sky. And if the sun is hitting the tree, where would that shadow fall? It wouldn't hit in the front of the tree where the sun is. It would hit behind it. So I want you to take a color, and just like our trees ran off to the top of the paper, um, we're going to have our shadows run off to the bottom of the paper. So my sun is hitting to the one side of the tree, and my shadow is falling on the other side. And it goes all the way down to the bottom of the paper. And that helps us show form that these trees are three dimensional and the sun is hitting it and the light is shining down. So while I'm waiting for my background to dry, you can start peeling off the tape that is on your trees. Now if any part of the paper rips up, not to worry. Um, it kind of adds to the texture of the tree and it makes for your paper being really rough with edges and stuff. So it kind of works. So voila, I peeled off all of my paper. And like I said, we're going to now add the small little details to our picture that will make it just a little bit better. I'm going to use a skinnier brush and I, after I peeled off all the tape, I'm going to use a little bit of black with some purple and I'm going to outline my birch tree. Now my outline can be a little bit thicker on the side that the shadow is falling and this will help make it seem and appear more three-dimensional. So after I lay the color, I then take some water and I can brush that up. And remember, you can play here with colors and be creative, just like Claude Monet. So after I outline it, both the branches 
and the trunk. I'm then going to come in with short little lines to make the texture of the birch tree. Now on this side where the, the light is hitting, I don't have to go in and make too much of a, a shadow. And I can always adjust my shadow, make it a little bit more blended into my picture. Now I'm going to take and make those short little lines to make the birch tree appear like a birch tree. I think my shadow is a little wet, so I'm going to take a paper towel and blot some of that off so my color doesn't bleed. Now I tried to show that this tree is a little bit closer than the trees in the background. And you want to do a variety of lines. Make some tiny, make some big, make some to the edge, make some at the base of the tree. Have fun and create that texture to make your birch tree seem more realistic. Even in the branches you want to add some of those little lines. Voila! So after you're done adding the texture to your birch tree, you then can go ahead and add some texture in your background. Um, I added a fence and then added the shadow on the ground. And then I added some trees all the way in the background. And again, I simply did that by making the letter Y and I also made sure that my painting in the background was dry. This definitely won't work if your painting is still wet. So you just want to make your tree look realistic with branches and you do that simply by adding and creating that letter Y. And as you go up the tree your Y's just get smaller and smaller to create that realistic look of branches. And you can go ahead and go right off the paper makes it look a little bit more realistic. And I also used my brush and, and it was okay if there wasn't a lot of paint on it because it makes and helps for that shadow in the snow look a little bit more realistic. So I went ahead and just added that same place where if my sun is hitting here, the shadows of everything is gonna go in that same direction. So this is my Claude Monet birch tree and I used masking tape to create the tree. I also wanted to see what it would be like to make maybe a tree in the summertime. So I used that masking tape and instead of using the cool colors, I used some oranges and browns and made my instead of snow, some grass. And this time my sun is hitting on this side and my shadow is falling the other way. So have fun with your Claude Monet beech trees, birch trees, sorry, and enjoy and make that form with some masking tape.